Right, we're on guys, today I'm going to do a challenge. I've got two 7 irons. Exactly the same. Exactly the same head anyway. It's the Wilson FG Tour V6 forged irons. That's the club I play with. I have mine in a dynamic gold S300 shaft, which is an inch longer than standard. And I'm going to compare it against a ladies Pro Force low torque, long distance, long control UST shaft, L flex. And I'll grip mine down an inch shorter, or to make it the same length as the ladies. Flight scope's on, we're going to compare the shaft. Does ladies flex perform better or worse than my stiff dynamic gold shaft that I've been fitted for? Right, we're starting off with ladies. V6, FG Tour, UST, L flex. 35 degrees of loft, I believe. Let me just check my chart, custom fitting chart, Wilson. Yes, 35 degrees of loft. So ladies shaft, it's an inch and a half shorter than my shaft. And I can feel every inch and a half shorter of that. Let's hit a few flight scopes switched on. Let's see how far we get this. Okay, that's really high for me compared to my normal shaft. We'll hit five balls with each one. We'll get an average. I'll tell you what, that was all right. Path 0 0.2, right? Loving it. Right, so now Gents, this is my club, Dynamic Gold S3, 100 shaft, inch and a half longer than the ladies one, so I'll make the ladies one, or my one, the same length as the ladies, which is just two marks underneath the Wilson badge, so we get a relevant reading. There we go. The ladies one felt okay, it felt, it flew very high, ball flight was really high, um, but distance seems all right. seemed alright, we'll check the data in a minute, so gents, S300, okay, Right, I'm now just going to hit five balls with my club, with my normal V6, but in my full length, so my full inch longer than standard, and just see if that does actually make any difference. So again, we'll hit five balls, see how we go. Feels much better. Feels like I can stand up to this. It just suits me. Lengthwise, much more comfortable position. Good numbers, good numbers. Right guys, so, 7 iron test, ladies shaft versus gents shaft. Let's just go through the data. I've got all the numbers here on my iPad. Ladies 7 iron, average carry 171.1, so 171 yards. And the lateral deviation for that was 10 feet. So I hit it really well. Carry the ladies 7 iron, 171 yards. It was very high, ball flight was very high, but the grouping was good. Managed to control the short shaft with a lot of whip in it. And it was, it was quite good, it was interesting. But now we've got my shaft, so my S300, Dynamic Gold S300, playing an inch and a half shorter than I normally do, just to keep it in line with the ladies shaft. 
Um, so we've got 171 average to beat distance wise. This was 180.9, so it's 181, so it's 10 yards further. So the graphite shaft, for me, I'm hitting the steel shaft and the gents flex, or the, the, sorry, the stiff flex, um, 10 yards further. The lateral deviation was much wider though, it was 30 feet. So I was three times, I was 30 feet discrepancy with my steel shaft, whereas the ladies shaft was only 10 feet. However, I was gripping an inch and a half down on it. So gripping an inch and a half down, I kind of, I felt as I'd lost control with the heavier shaft, but I certainly gained distance, ball flight was down. So what, what wins? What wins that? Probably ladies shaft wins that, to be honest with you. Trajectory was good, grouping was much better, and I felt as though I had more control over it. I can lose 10 yards, I don't mind that. 170 yards with a 7 iron, that's pretty good. So the ladies shaft, I preferred the ladies shaft to my own shaft. I then tried my own shaft gripping full length, so my standard spec, or my spec is an inch longer than standard, standard lie. The inch longer makes it play a little bit degree or so upright, more upright. So I then gripped normally and played with that, which when you see the data here, it says nine iron, eight iron, seven iron, just so I could get three difference, but they're all seven irons. So the seven irons, ladies, eight irons, mine, nine irons, mine on full length. So nine iron, once I get to full length, I got an extra five yards, so 184.9. So it's 185 yards, which is 171, so 14 yards further than the ladies one and the deviation was the deviation was 14 feet, so only four feet more than the ladies. So I'm hitting it 14 yards further and I'm only four, uh, four feet wider in discrepancy uh, or grouping if you like. So custom fitting is important, absolutely. The ladies felt great, gents felt all right, Mine felt brilliant once I got that extra inch and a half longer than the ladies and the shaft felt better as well. So what's right, what's wrong? It's what the player what the player prefers. If you find if you if you take ladies' shafts out and you hit them brilliant, if I hadn't tried mine an inch and a half longer than the ladies' shaft, out of the two of them, I'd have taken the ladies' shaft. High ball flight, better grouping all day long. But then I knew what I was fitted into. I got my own club, inch and a half longer distance 14 yards further and grouping for going 14 yards further was only four feet wider. No brainer. Guys, let me know what you think about the findings from this and also see why you're down there putting that comment in that box. Hit the subscribe button. Please hit that little subscribe button. The more people subscribe, the more videos we'll get.